Do you believe that you have a story and a message worthy of sharing it? Do you believe that you're an expert in your field? You were the one that failed over and over again. You were the one that had to overcome addiction. There's a purpose for your pain. How many of y'all feel abandoned? How many of y'all feel betrayed? They were like, me, me, me. I'm like, do you realize how powerful you are? Yeah. It's really actually easier to become a six-figure professional speaker than you think. It has to work where it has to work. A lot of people don't believe you can turn your story into, and you've been doing this for a long time. Yeah, 13 been, years. 13 years yep. you've been speaking yep. profession. It's not a, you, you told me this story how somebody was online teaching people how to become a full-time speaker. Uh, but as soon as he finished <laughs> doing that video, he had to throw the T-Mobile shirt on or something right, like that. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So sure. this is something you eat, something you yeah. dream, something yeah. you live. You yeah. really live this yeah. life, bro. Sure. So let's. Let's walk through that, man. Yeah, so I tell people all the time, man, it's really actually easier to become a six-figure professional speaker than you think, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That's just $8,400 a month. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. just two gigs at $4,200. Yeah. And the average speaker in America that speaks for uh, elementary, middle school, or high school gets between $2,500 and $5,000 per gig. That's with little to no experience. That means you ain't big time. You ain't got a big brand like that. That's just the average thing. So when I talk to people and they're like, man, I want to be a professional speaker. I want to get out here. I want to help share my message. Like, is it really possible for me? I'm like, yeah. But it really goes down to, do you believe? Like, do you believe it's possible for you? Do you believe that you have a story and a message worthy of sharing it? Do you believe that you're an expert in your field? And I tell people all the time, you might not be an expert when it comes to science or you might not be an expert when it comes to new nutrition, but you an expert when it comes to your pain. Like I be telling folk, like, can't nobody tell you, you know what I'm saying, how, how, how you should feel. You was the one that was molested. Like you was the one that your house went through foreclosure. You was the one diagnosed with cancer. Like you was the one that saw your loved one get murdered. Like you were the one that went through that pain. You were the one that went through that divorce. You were the one that failed over and over again. You were the one that had to overcome addiction. So I tell people all the time, like, there's a purpose for your pain. Yeah. Right. And But people don't always see that. People's like, I went through so much. And I'm like, I did the training, bro. And I ask people like, like, tell me, how many of y'all feel abandoned? How many of y'all feel betrayed? How many of y'all have been miserable? How many of y'all have been broke? Your body broke, your, your bank account broke, you know what I'm saying? Your spirit broke. And it was like, me, me, me. I'm like, do you realize how powerful you are? Yeah. After all you've gone through, after all you've experienced, there is so much power and greatness inside you because you're still here. Because mm. you didn't quit. You didn't surrender. You, you survived. And now people will pay you because they're trying to figure out resiliency. Yeah. So they pay me top dollar, thirty, forty thousand dollars to step on stage and speak and just share my heart. This is stuff I would do for free. Yeah. Like my, I got one gig. They pay me fifty thousand dollars, bro, for thirty minutes on stage. I would have gave that message for free, bro. So what is it like? Everybody need to have develop a signature speech like that mm -hmm. you could go. Mm -hmm. So so talk me through that. So step one in the process is how am I finding these clients to pay me for this? Mm -hmm. And am I presenting the same thing to everybody? Like, talk to me about it. So that. it's funny, man. Shout out to ET, a mentor of, to both of ours, yeah. the number one motivational speaker in the world. I remember one time E was like, man, this organization is going to pay him like seven. This is years ago. He charges 200000 or more now. But they was going to pay him like seventy five grand. And he was like, bro, they said, when you come, can you give us the guru story? And he was blown away. He was like, you can find this story on YouTube. But people is like, but I want the story like live here in the moment. And that just let me know like the power of your story. So I tell people, you only need to have one signature message. And I look at that like the tree trunk, the foundation of your message. Then you can add on the branches and other things later, but you need to have that foundational story of what you've gone through, what you overcome, what you experienced, how you made it over and give the people four to five principles on what they can do to apply that information to change their lives. Mm. But the important thing people got to know is, one, you got a story, you got a message. Two, people need to hear it, and they will pay you top dollar for your message and your story. Now, some of the things that will put people on the right path, website, branding, logos, EPK, video speaker reels, right? So those are some different things that they can have. So that's the framework, the basis. That's the that framework, right? So if somebody came to me and said, okay, Jeremy, give me the five-step process 
of what I should do, I will say, come up with your signature message. Give us five to six takeaway points, things that you're going to teach and train on. For me, and when I was in schools, I'm in corporate now, but when I was in schools, it might have been more so um, resiliency, mindset, attitude, hard work, sacrifice. Those are the principles. If I'm speaking in a university or at a high school, like those are some of the things that I will continue to reinforce. Once you have that, now you put together an EPK which is like a simple PDF that has your picture, the topics you discuss, a short bio, just something that you can email the people to let them know who you are. The next step now will be a website. You build out a full website, get somebody to do it on Fiverr or Squarespace, high quality images will be a game changer for the website. Now, all these different opportunities you get to speak, you want to maximize those and get it filmed, get it recorded, different pieces of content put together. You walking into the company, you speaking, shaking hands, clips of you speaking on stage and talking to the people afterwards. Then you have your team put together a demo reel. Let me tell you something, bro. I got one guy, my man lives in South Carolina, 26 years old. He followed the exact blueprint I gave him, bro. He's not even deep like that. He like, Jeremy, I watch your stuff. I do everything you tell me to do. Bro, my man getting $17,000 speaking engagements, bro. Mm. My man making $24,000 a week just speaking, just changing lives. Yeah. And he in schools. Yeah. He with middle schools and high schools. And he killing it. And my man like 26, 28 years old. And, I'm, and this one made me think, man, what kind of life you going to grow up living? Yeah. What kind of life your kids going to have? When you're making twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars a month yeah. from speaking, like what kind of life? And then what level he gonna be on when he thirty? Yeah. And when he thirty five and when he forty, yeah. my man ain't even cracked thirty yet, but he ran the play. EPK, website, video reel, and I reference him because I see the way he took a whole bunch of clips from previous engagements. Went and found a videographer, paid him, put all of it together. Bro, my man looked like the LeBron James of speaking in schools. Crazy. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I'm watching Crazy. his video. It's like four minutes long. He on different stages. They catching drone shots. Like he's investing yeah. in his business. Yeah. Hey, you're looking at this and you're probably enjoying this episode and the strategies and the gems that I give you. This is just a fraction of what you learn in my mastermind, right? I would love for you to be able to learn more information on how he's able to help Carter Cofield make a million dollars in one single day how he's able to help Rochelle Parks make over $500,000 in a day, learn how he's able to help Tevin grow his Instagram following from 70,000 followers to upwards to 200,000 followers within two months. And again, those results are not typical, let me be very clear, but they are possible for those who are willing to put work in, energy, and effort. If you're looking at this video right now, I want you to go to the website mastermindwithneo, N-E-O.com, so you can apply to see if you're a good fit for our mastermind. This is specific for someone looking to grow their digital business, right? Even though, y'all probably even know David Shan, Sleepers for Suckers, he's inside of my mastermind. You probably know Sonya, the student loan doctor, he's inside of my mastermind. You probably know Darius Daniels, he's inside of my mastermind. Those are just a few more people who are absolutely crushing it as a result of being inside of the community. So listen, if you're looking at this, right, and you're probably looking at the episode like, man, you're dropping so much gems but can you imagine how many gyms you'll get when you're actually inside of the environment, when you're tapped into the community? What I want you guys to go to right now is mastermindwithneo.com so you do not miss out on your opportunity to get tapped in. You will have to apply, you will have to get on the call, and hopefully you make the cut to be a part of what we got going on. I'll see you on the inside. Let's get back to the episode. What's the framework of being able to develop more speeches? Like you get like, where's, I'm not saying the same stuff each hmm. time. Every time, like a pastor every Sunday, Darius got a new message for you. Every Sunday. Jake's right. got a new, I'm like, how are y'all developing? Right, 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 right. What are you, like yeah. what is, and they, is and they how are you sitting down? Them. What is yeah. the framework to developing a new message? Are you, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, so I, so I tell people this all the time. If you And this for me, together. like I am this, yeah. like I gotta develop more messages. So let me give you four pieces yeah. in order for you to have, to give a real, powerful speech yeah. to give a real powerful mm -hmm. speech r e a l the r stands for relatable you got to come off as relatable so when i take the stage i don't talk about the wealth the success the travel i don't talk about that when i take the stage i'm like look i grew up without my biological father a repeated failure in school three different schools for the ninth grade a diagnosis of adhd you know what i'm saying drug and alcohol abuse like i'm talking about all my failures i'm like but look at me now instantly people feel like they can relate to that 
because they might not be able to relate to the lifestyle I'm living in yeah. the countries I'm traveling yeah. to and how I get to travel. They can't relate to that, but they can relate to failure. They can't relate to pain. So if you want to give a real powerful speech, the R is for relatable. The E is you got to bring out emotions. So when you're speaking, like if you're passionate, be passionate. But if you're telling a sad story, like your voice should reflect the emotions, right? The A stands for action. Give people a clear plan of action to what they should do next in order for them to be able to go to that next level. Like what are the takeaways and then the lesson? If you want to give a real powerful speech, R-E-A-L, the L is for lesson. With every loss, there's a lesson. With every lesson, there's a blessing. Mm. And I tell people, like, make sure your audience understands what that lesson is so that now they know, okay, this is what I want to do. So for everybody that's tapped in with you, bro, they got to know in order to give a real powerful speech, it's got to be relatable. You got to bring out emotions, a clear plan of action, and give them the lesson. Mm. Now, to further answer your question, how do you switch it up and create something new? It really depends on your gift and talent. Because some people, it's just like, I'm going to stick with my one signature move. There are some people that's like that. Dirk Nowinski had that one little fadeaway shot. But mm -hmm. then you got those like, like MJ, you know what I'm saying, like LeBron, that can do a number of different things. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? They can dunk. They can shoot the three ball. They get in rebounds. They got assists. And so that, that's, a, that's for a, a special group of people that have to learn that gift over time. So let me tell you what I mean. So I spoke for this event and I talked about the cost of greatness. And you mm. know what I mentioned? Ooh. Yeah, the cost of greatness. And what I went to is I was like, everybody wants to be great, but everybody don't want to do what it takes to be great. Mm. And so I was like, let's just focus on Jamie Foxx, right? And I said, we look at Jamie Foxx and how he did Ray. And it was like, man, he's winning the Academy Awards and everything. And everybody's celebrating Jamie Foxx. But what they didn't see, it wasn't just his acting. It wasn't just his performance. It was what he had to endure. My man put the prosthetic eyes on that made him blind for 16 hours a day. Bro, they only filmed for eight hours a day. Wow. But he, put, he made himself physically blind for 16 hours a day. Because he was like, I want to embody Ray Charles. So I tell them, like, when I was on the stage, I was like, are you willing to do that? Some of y'all would just put it on or just close your eyes and kind of act blind. But my man was like, no, 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 no. Even when it's time for break and we do craft services, craft services is like the food company that provides food for movies. I, I produced a movie where we funded the movie a few years ago. And that was craft services is expensive too anyway. But that's something. But my man is literally trying to eat tuna sandwiches while he's blind. Wow. That's the cost of greatness. So when you see him winning the Academy Award, you already know why. Then I talked about Leonardo DiCaprio. Remember that movie, The Revenant? When my man was like out in the wilderness, out in the woods, it was snowing, it was cold. So in my speech, I referenced that because Leonardo DiCaprio was eating real liver, real animal liver, raw. He didn't have to do that, bro. Yeah, yeah. He the number, he one of the best actors in the world. He could have had whatever cuisine. My man was like, no, nah, I'm about to really eat this liver. I want to embody it. My man slept in the dead carcass of an animal. He didn't have to do that, bro. Wow. But when they like cut, everybody go home. They go back to their trailer. They go back to their hotel. My man was like, no, nah, tonight I'm going to put some fur around me. I'm about to sleep in the dead carcass. Bro, the cost of greatness. Yeah. And so that's what I would do. What I just did right there, you paint a picture. It don't even always have to be about you. It can be about someone else, something else you saw that, that you experienced. So I'm always looking for life moments. Man, the late break Kobe Bryant, bro, when my man was on stage, I mean, my man was on the court, and then he, he tore his Achilles, but the, 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 the Lakers was down. He still went limping to the, three, uh, the free throw line and still hit the, three, the free throws to give his team the advantage, the cost of greatness. And so when it comes to like people like sharing their story, they message, you got to figure out what the You got me fired up, though. Yeah, you got to go run through the a wall right and now. Run, and run with it from there. And so I tell people all the time, it don't even have to just be like you. Half the time when I'm speaking, I might talk about me. Sometimes I might not talk about me. I might talk about what somebody else is experiencing. You know what I'm saying? I might talk about you. If, if I was at a conference, bro, and they wanted me to talk about greatness, bro, I will put your picture up. But before I put your picture up with your cars and your beautiful family and y'all traveling to Dubai, you know what I would show them? Yeah. I would show them the junk removal truck you had. Yeah. I would show them the food truck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I would show them the Neo that was happy to make $30,000 a year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would show them that. Yeah. And I would talk about all your work, all the sacrifice, the sleepless nights. I would talk about, yeah, you see his wife now. He blessed his wife with a new Lambo truck and all this stuff. 
stuff, but you didn't see when they were sleeping, you know what I'm saying, in the truck together, when they were struggling, you know what I'm saying, when you was cleaning toilets, you yeah. know what I'm saying, for private jet companies, yeah. but now you're flying private jets. Yeah. The cost of greatness. 